Okay, so let's address the elephant in the room called Iron Banner. What's up, guys? Reckless here. Welcome back to another video. Today, we are going to chat about the first Iron Banner in Destiny 2 Season of the Haunted, aka Season 17. As of this video, Iron Banner has come and gone. And I'm not going to lie, my first experience in Rift wasn't too pleasant to say the least. First off, let me say that I do not have an issue with Rift as a game mode like many other people do. To me, it's an objective-based crucible game mode that isn't about just killing the other team in order to win. You have to play the mode how it is meant to be played. Grab the spark and bang that glowy thing on the other side. Really, really hard. <laughs> Boom. I'm sorry, but if you are all about only killing the other team, then go ahead and play Clash. I said what I said, and I'm not sorry for it. However, playing Rift again for the first time since Destiny 1 inside Destiny 2 was a bad experience for me. The gameplay you are watching is not the first gameplay in Iron Banner that I actually recorded. Unfortunately, for some ungodly reason, that gameplay was actually corrupted and I wasn't able to actually record it again. This gameplay that you are currently watching was on Monday after the mini hot fix that we got, but my first experience in Iron Banner for season 17 was atrocious. My first game, the first game was amazing because we went for a little over eight minutes in the match where no one was able to score. The teams were just that good on both sides. And then it happened. I'm at a point where I am 1v2ing the other team. One of them has the spark and he's hiding and ducking and dodging all my attacks. But then it comes to a point where we're trading blows, no homo. And I use Acrobat Dodge and gain restoration. And then on my last trigger pull, in order to kill the guy with the spark, I get contacting Destiny 2 servers. Everything stops moving but me. Then, black screen and sent to orbit. Luckily, I was able to rejoin the game. But when I got back in, the other team scored a point. And when I tell you, when I tell you, I was pissed off for the rest of the match. My buddy Leon can attest to this. I was pissed. Pissed. But it didn't end there. After the match was over, I restarted my internet in the entire house. It was a sunny day and the cable company was not outside working on any poles. I am hardwired into my router and I ran a speed test and everything was good. Jumped into a match of Iron Banner Rift and at the beginning of the match, contacting Destiny servers again. At this point, I knew it wasn't my internet and this time it didn't actually get me to a black screen or kick me out of the match. The next match was the same thing. I just got off of Iron Banner for the rest of the day and went into control and I had no issues. So this apparently was an issue at Bungie in the Iron Banner servers. Monday was a different story. The hotfix came out and it was supposed to make things a little bit more stable and for the most part it did. On Monday, I jumped back into Iron Banner Rift and destroyed the other teams with no issues. No contact in Destiny servers, no black screen, no issues at all. I am in no way a PVP god. I'm a decent player and I need to actually do my warm up games like a lot of people. Talent like this doesn't come naturally. <laughs> I gotta work hard for this shit, you know? All jokes aside, I did enjoy Iron Banner Rift after the connection issues were fixed. So Bungie, thank you. Now, Rift has not been a game mode in Destiny 2 since Destiny 1. And to that fact, I am actually sad about it. However, I personally think that Rift should be an original Crucible game mode in Destiny 2 and not tied to a monthly event like Iron Banner. I kind of feel the same way about Iron Banner Rift as I do about Trials with a Radar. I hate it and it needs to be removed. 
Rift should be a game mode where if you want to play it, you can, but you shouldn't have to be forced to play it when you want to play Iron Banner. I understand that, yes, you don't have to play it at all if you don't want to. I get it. Enemy but in. if you want that sweet Iron Banner Enemy loot, then you kind of have no choice. Now, Enemy given Rock that it is Season of the Solar 3.0, I have tried a few different exotics for my Hunter, all pushing mobility to 100 because mobility is still IMO the most. I'll say it again. The most important stat for a hunter. I understand resilience got a nice buff and that is great and everything, but hunters need to be able to get in and out of the map as fast as possible, especially in game modes like Rift. The gameplay you are watching, I am using Shards of Galanor, but for the remaining duration of Iron Banner, I have tried Shards of Galanor, I have tried Stompies, I have tried Star Eater Scales, which yes, I understand is a PVE exotic. I know, I get it, but I still try it out. I have tried Ophidia Spathe. I have tried tons of Hunter Exotics and you all will hate me for this, but no exotic in Destiny 2 as of Solar 3.0 is the best for a game mode like Rift where you need to be fast on your feet like Stompies. There, I said it. Your I said Stompies is still the best exotic for game modes Five like Rift, where there Sounds is an objective in order to win. However, even with the, the airborne nerf to Stompies, Stompies, there is a way to get around it without going crazy into specking into airborne. But I will save that secret for another video. So stay tuned. One small thing that I didn't like in Iron Banner, or at least Iron Banner Rift, and I have tried this so many times, was to do the backflip dunk. Now, if you played Destiny 1, we were able to backflip into the enemy rift, and it actually gave you extra points if you did so when you held the spark in order to dunk it. All we had to do was enter the rift backwards. You could walk backwards into it, you can jump backwards into it. It didn't matter how you got into the rift, as long as you did it backwards, it would do a backflip into the rift and give you those extra points. Every time I tried to do it in this last Iron Banner, it wouldn't work. I don't know. I think Bungie disabled it or I wasn't aligned perfectly. But then again, how much more perfect can you be trying to go into it backwards? <laughs> but it just didn't work for me. Other than that and the connection issues, I actually like playing Rift. I just feel that we shouldn't be forced to play it for a monthly event like Iron Banner. We all will have our own opinions. Some people like it. I know tons more people, Leon, who don't like it. So to each his own. Anyways, what do you guys think about playing in this last Iron Banner in season 17, given that the game mode was ripped? Did you guys enjoy it? Or did you guys not like it because of the fact that it was ripped and not something else like control or clash? Let me know down in the comment section below. And that my friends brings us to the end. If you are new here, feel free to subscribe to my channel, like and share the video if you enjoyed it, and I will see you guys in the next one. Hey, hey you, watch these videos too. I know you like them. Go, 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 go.